So hello everyone. We're going to have a quick look uh, today at how to uh, blend two images in Photoshop. And um, you know, obviously from a from a wildlife perspective, this is not something that we do on a regular basis, but definitely has its uh, benefits um, in certain situations. Um, and in this situation, you can see these two two photographs we're going to be working with here. Um, first of all, for this one over here, two, two cheetah cubs you know, lying on, on, on a road. So we first have that image, um, and our second image is that one. Um, so what, we, what I was going for, what I was hoping for at this point in time, was to get a photograph where both the cheetahs were actually looking at me, um, or, or in a situation where we could see the eyes of both the cheetahs, um, or, or both the cubs. But unfortunately, none of it... I mean, those, those photographs just didn't happen. Um, and uh, as we all know, that you know, wildlife doesn't take instruction. So, um, next best thing was to blend the two photographs together. Um, so, obviously, now I'm in, I'm in Lightroom at this point in time. And I've processed each photograph individually. And just want to show you the two photographs uh, together. Um, and so, those are the two photographs that we want to blend. So, obviously, the first photograph we can see over here. Um, the back cub is looking at us quite nicely and in the second photograph this cub over here is quite nice Even though it's not looking directly at us you can still see its eyes so we want to take both these photographs and blend them together and the easiest way to do that is in Photoshop um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my two photographs and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first photograph press command and select the second photograph so I've selected both my photographs now, um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open them up into Photoshop. So by right-clicking on the photograph, I go all the way down here to where it says Edit In, and then almost right down at the bottom, I'm going to go down to where it says Open as Layers in Photoshop. And I'm just going to click there. So if your Photoshop has previously been opened, it, it will open fairly quickly. If not, it may take a couple of seconds to, to open up. Um, and here we go, we've got our two photographs opening up now in Photoshop. And um, it will show us the two layers fairly shortly. So over here, now we've got our two layers. Okay, so if I turn off the top layer, there we see our second layer uh, quite nicely underneath. And there's our top layer again. So our top layer is obviously the one with the cheetah looking back at us from behind, rather the cheetah at the back looking at us. Um, so we want to brush in this front cheetah, the one that's looking at us lying in front. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the top layer. So it should already be automatically selected. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer mask over this photograph by clicking on the layer mask tool right at the bottom of my menu over here, add layer mask. So when I click on that, you can see there now it adds our layer mask. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure that my brush tool is selected, which is this tool over here. And as you can see, there's the size of my brush. I can change the size of my brush by using the open and close square brackets on my keyboard. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to check my brush hardness, first of all. So I'm going to click up at the top over here. Um, and you can see here my hardness is set to about 31%. Basically, the hardness is the diff is the blend on the outside. So is, the, is it a very solid adjustment on the outside? Is it a very, uh, has a slight, does it have a slight feather around the outsides as in one of these over here? I'm quite happy with what it is at 31% at, at there. So I'm going to leave that alone for now. So all I have to do now is I'm going to start brushing. And as I start brushing, I'm going to click and I brush and you'll see that the front cheetah starts to disappear. Okay, so now what it's doing is it's removing the top layer and revealing what is underneath. So it's revealing the photograph that's underneath over here. Now you can see, as I brush around here, my second cheetah is starting to come through. And I'm gonna brush away just like this. And as you can see, it's something that's relatively easy to, to do. Do something like that. Make sure I brush in the entire body of the cheetah that's here. Okay, make sure I don't leave any little errors behind. Make sure you get in that full mane over there, right around the ear, and all that section. 
and I'm quite happy at that point in time now that I have a photograph that both photo, um, cheetah are looking towards me. Um, typically what I won't do, what I will do with these type of photographs is I won't flatten the layers. I like to keep them as a, as a PSD file just in case I ever want to come back to it in Photoshop, uh, reopen it and work on it. It will maintain those layers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say File, Save. I'm just going to save them back into Lightroom. So if I minimize my Photoshop now, there's my Lightroom photograph. If I show you a full screen view, now I have both my cheetah looking at me. And uh, that's the end. I hope uh, that you've learned something from this uh, short little video tutorial. And uh, hopefully you'll be seeing some more from me in the near future. My name is Brendan Kremer and uh, I'll chat to you again soon. Bye.